Welcome back to one of only two countries that has held a race every year since the very first Formula One World Championship in 1950. It is, of course, Italy, one of the great racing nations, and it's time to get underway for the Italian Grand Prix. With the rain coming down here at the 3.6 mile Monza circuit, the low drag setups preferred by most teams could cause them some problems in today's Grand Prix. So watch out for cars struggling for grip around Parabolica, the last and most demanding of this track's 11 corners. A warm welcome to Anthony Davidson, who's beside me in the commentary box today. Let's talk about Gardner. That was a great win in the last race. Did they keep that momentum going this weekend? It's always nice to come into a Grand Prix weekend on a high, but your expectations are based much more on your practice and qualifying runs. So it's the momentum from those sessions that they'll be hoping to carry into the race today. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Gardner lines up on pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Verstappen, Russell, Daniel Ricciardo and Sainz, Gasly, Leclerc, Stroll and Esteban Ocon, Norris, Bottas, Alexander Albon and Kvyat, Perez, De Vries, Kevin Magnussen and Antonio Giovinazzi, Latifi, Matsushita, Joe, and Giuliano Alesi. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. Okay, a podium result could be difficult to achieve this race, so let's focus on getting a high points finish. Thanks, Jeff. Welcome everybody to another JDM racing video. It's my team in F1 2020. We're at Monza. We are on pole position, front row lockout for JDM. Actually, we were top of every single session. Practice one, two, three, qualifying one, two, three. We were just the fastest car. And we were the fastest driver of that fastest car. So we've just been on it this weekend, nailing it every single session. And, um,. Yeah, potentially if we win the race, that's an absolute clean sweep. So we've got Lewis alongside um, after the uh, disappointment of him dropping to 11th in the last race <coughs> with a grid penalty for the engine and fighting up to fourth. No such problems uh, this weekend. He's up alongside, so hopefully we can maximize our points and keep Mercedes back. Um he actually went out in Q2 on mediums, so he was actually going to be set for a good uh, alternate strategy. But the rain has um, kind of put, uh, scuppered that plan. So we're uh, both on inters uh, for the duration of the race. There's no pit stops, so it's just a straight lights to flag um, sprint race, basically. And we'll see uh, what we can do. 1-2 is the plan, but with this weather and everybody kind of running dry setups, it's going to be a bit, bit interesting. So let's find out what happens. All right, off we go off the line then. Bog down a little bit. So does everybody else, it seems. Lewis trying to come back up the inside. We're going to squeeze him a little bit. And down into turn one. Looks like Verstappen has got past Lewis. Bit of argy-bargy. Now Lewis battling with Verstappen again. We really need him to be keeping Verstappen back. I think Verstappen's got past him. Yep, Staffan's through. Great first lap. Keep it up. We have a little momentary check to see where the Staffan is. Second right now.
slide in a bit through the Parabolica. Put the ERS back on. No DRS because of the conditions. So Verstappen is going to have to rely on the slipstream and his uh, engine ERS mode to try and boost fastest. He's going to do it. We'll run a little bit wide there. Verstappen. Looking to get his nose up alongside. Couldn't quite yet to back out. And now Hamilton has got in front of Verstappen. After we kind of gave him a little shut the door. Possibly a little coming together between those two. That's given us a little bit of breathing room. Okay, some information on Bottas. It looks oh, like the Bottas. problem is terminal. They're retiring the car. Bottas out of the race. Here's Valtteri Bottas in 11th position, trying to close in on those points places for Racing Point. Coming down this back part of the circuit in between the trees. He's going quite slow. He's just been overtaken. Has he got some sort of technical problem there? He, he's going extremely slow now. He's pulled off. Oh, and Bottas is out of the race. Nightmare. I actually said it properly that time. Wink, wink, you know who you are. Outbreak ourselves into turn one. Three and a half seconds back to Lewis. Although that scruffy first corner has cost Use us about a second there. More. It's time to utilize some of this energy. Is that Great work. Lap? That's a new fastest lap of the race. Lewis Hamilton sets another one though. best to hold off Max Verstappen right now. And there is no, well unless the weather changes, there is no pit stops. Weather report. These conditions don't look like they're shifting. We're predicting at least 20 minutes of heavy rainfall. Inters seem like the fastest tyre for now. Jeff. looking really good, you're managing it well. Okay. Could be on for a faster slap ourselves here. Yep. It's a quick one. track is drying but it's going to take a while to clear the standing water off the line don't start thinking about slicks just yet okay check with some good information there you can see it starting to dry a little bit on this on this line here got a decent sized lead Back to Lewis. Ooh, I thought we may have just deployed the ERS too early then. Could have spun it. That was the fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. Four tenths quicker again. So we really got the pace in. Uh, 
like I said, we, uh, we've been fastest every single session. We have looked very, very fast. We've also got fresh engine pieces in every, pretty much every single component, except maybe the turbocharger, so I think that's uh, doing us some favours as well. In terms of engine performance, it really does make a difference. Especially around a circuit like this. Okay. Just underneath the one at 30 barrier. So the track is getting quicker and quicker. As per Jeff's message. really is just about concentration. I mean, we saw it uh, that's another fastest lap, just, just shaded it. Um, we saw it with Senna in uh, Monaco where it was so far in front and uh, wasn't pushing to his absolute limit. And uh, he just threw it into the wall. Um, just before he went into the tunnel, and that was it, he threw the race win away. And, um, I think I think it was Frost who took the win that day. He was driving like very, very cautiously. Um, and yeah, it just says five laps of fuel remaining. Sometimes how that works. Minute, I'm just driving like qualifying laps. As best as I can. The sky looks like it's brightening up a little bit. I don't think the weather's going to change sufficiently to uh, warrant a tyre change or anything like that. Four that time, so the times are tumbling. We do have a very good car in the wet, it must be said. We've won uh, a couple of races in the wet, I think, this year. And we've dominated from start to finish, and we win the Italian Grand Prix. Great job, you've done everything we wanted today. Here we are then, a thoroughly deserved win in Italy after another excellent Grand Prix. Tell me, Ant, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? Well, keeping their tyre temperatures up in the tricky wet conditions was really important. There's not much grip out there at the best of times, and it's ten times worse if you're out there on cold tyres. So the way they kept the rubber in its proper operating window was a huge advantage today. Well, what a thrilling end to an incredible Grand Prix weekend. Our top three finishers should be incredibly happy with what they were able to achieve out there today. Lewis spraying us down the back of the neck there. That was a good team performance today, good one too. Let's see how the driver's standings have changed. Gardner increases their championship lead. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? It's got to be Lewis Hamilton. I mean, he pulled off some impressive feats out on the track today, even by his standards. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. The current leaders continue to extend their lead at the top. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time. Be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One. So we win the race uh, with the fastest lap seven tenths quicker than the nearest rival 
uh, for the extra point. We take 26 points. Lewis comes home second. That's a perfect result for us. Mercedes, three and four, did the best they could, but they couldn't get past Lewis, and uh, we just sailed off into the distance. Daniel Ricciardo and Carlos Sainz, fifth and seventh. Red Bull still kind of doing that um, uh, recovery job in terms of getting their uh, third place in the constructors, I think. McLaren, Gasly, that's a solid drive from him. Albon also picking up a couple of points for uh, Alpha Tori. That's a good result for them. Uh, Ocon again in the points. He's a he's a little bit of a he's a little bit of a dark horse. Is Esteban Ocon and Charles Leclerc, Ferrari. They're not going to be happy with that, are they? Tenth place at their home race is the best they can do. Uh, coming down here, they said something about uh, a Lacey being the driver of the day coming up from the back up to 16th so yeah that's a pretty good result to be fair to him um, and then Bottas with the DNF so not great news for him um, taking a look at the standings we go ahead of Max Verstappen by another 11 points we're up to like 61 in front now and Lewis closing in on Max as well with his uh, Good run of form, finishing in front of him uh, for a couple of races as well. In the constructors, 124 point lead on Mercedes. Red Bull, like said, in there in third. McLaren, look at that. That's a quite a big fight for fourth place going on there. Renault, AlphaTauri, McLaren, and Racing Point all very very close to each other. So that midfield is very very tight. Uh, Williams and Haas yet to score still. Let's check out the highlights. Might not really be much to go on. We got into the lead and that was that. I actually thought we'd bog down a little bit, but um, we just moved over to kind of cut Lewis off and then moved back across for the braking zone. Max got in front of Lewis there, but Lewis took him back. That was kind of the early action in the, in, the, uh, in the race. Max kind of got onto us a little bit. I think it was around this uh, part of the Grand Prix. He almost came alongside. Yeah, this was the one. Oh, he almost, almost lost it there. Got a bit of a tank slapper on after trying to move up the inside of us. Lewis took him back. And we come across the line to win. So a pretty dominant weekend and uh, we move on to the next race with a decent points lead in both championships this season is looking better and better for us we had a massive engine upgrade we've got fresh engine pieces so uh, we've got it it's all in our hands it's all ours to lose um, but we're going to just keep going focus on each race by each race and uh, try and bring this title home with that said if you like the video, why not leave a little thumbs up, little likey poos. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already uh, for more JDM racing action. And thank you for watching. So all that's left to say is see you later. Bye.